way that is best Get your kids all through successes Well it was from Chicago to L.A. More than 2,000 miles all the way Get your kids all through successes Dallas, New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, don't forget Winona, Kingman, Boston, San Bernardino, won't you get them to the time to you? Will you make that California trip? Get your kids on Route 66. Get your kids on Route 66. You get your kids on Route 66. You get your kids on Route 66. You get your kids on Route 66. Keep apologizing. I'm the one that scared you. You were just grabbing a book, and I was the one who freaked out and started yelling. I'm sorry I ruined our study session. It's okay. You don't need to be apologizing. I should be sorry. And I am. Totally. What is everyone apologizing it's about? It's okay, Mom. It was nice to meet you, and I'll call the school and tell them to give you another study partner, and I'll tell them it's all my fault. But it isn't. You're a great study partner. Anyways, just do whatever makes you feel better, okay? Thanks for the ride. Honey, what happened? I'm a freak and I always will be. <sighs> Thank you. So, uh, what do you think of the singer? It was interesting. You think anyone else would be brave enough to get up there? Maybe. Should I go find another table and never speak to you ever again under any circumstances? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Luke. Why are you so determined to hate me? You remind me of an old boyfriend. I don't take it. That's not a good thing. No. Okay, why? I mean, what was he, was he mean to you? What happened? No, um, for all the terrible things he did, he was wonderful to me. Very kind, charming. He just, he took a lot of risks, like you do. And it finally caught up to him. What happened? I just want to be normal again. Sweetie, talk to me. Okay. Taylor and I are in the library. We're quizzing each other. Everything's fine. You know, he's a really nice guy. He just moved here. He doesn't know anybody. He doesn't know what happened with Kiefer or who my dad is. Okay, this all sounds all right. It was great until Taylor reached over and grabbed a book, and I freaked out. Why? For a split second, I thought... It was Kiefer oh. about to hit, hit me. Honey, I'm, I'm sorry. That must have been terrible. It was so embarrassing. And even after, it was like my brain knew I was fine, but my body wanted to run away. Mm. I didn't, mm. not that it matters. I've made it pretty clear to Taylor that I'm a freak. You are not a freak, and you need to stop saying that. What if it happened in the school, at, in the hall at school? Or what if I did that in front of everybody? How am I going to live my life knowing that I could flip out at any second? We're going to get through this, Christina, I promise you. 
there are going to be times that are really difficult, but you can do it, and I'm going to be with you every step of the way. I'm sorry, Mom. I haven't been fair to you. Look, if I had realized what was going on with you and Kiefer in the first place, we wouldn't be where we are now. But I can't go back and I can't fix that or change that, so we're just going to move forward, all right? When I pretended to date Johnny, it was just to get back at my dad. I, I wasn't even thinking about how it might hurt you. I think that when you were with Johnny, you were trying to exert your control. You were also trying to drive your father nuts at the same time, which is an irresistible combination for any 17-year-old girl. And while I don't find that acceptable by any stretch, I do understand the appeal. I love you. I don't say it enough, but I do. I know. And I like getting back into a routine, even with all the restrictions. It makes my life easier. And I can focus better. Good. Go focus on setting the table, and I'm going to call your teacher and get your study partner changed. Oh, thanks, but I've got that. Hey, Taylor. It's Christina. Taylor, stop. I'm officially setting a moratorium against saying we're sorry, okay? And if you're not too afraid of me, uh, I'd like to set another study session. Really? Great. Yeah, I'd like to try again too. It was my first week in ER. And I loved everything about it. You know, all that academic stuff started to click. I was completely at ease and was seriously considering a specialty in trauma care. I thought I'd found my true calling. And then one night, they crashed in a GSW. I didn't even recognize him. He was so messed up. It was, it was your boyfriend, wasn't it? I froze. The attending had to take over. Not that it mattered. He had lost so much blood at the scene. He didn't even open his eyes. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I'll always wonder if he knew I was there. You know, maybe he wanted to say goodbye, but he couldn't. He had so much potential, you know? He had big dreams, and he threw it all away.